Pass keys are becoming more popular in the industry. It's a secure way for users to sign in to their account. So in this video, we're going to be looking at Hanko.io, which is an open source authentication provider that allows you to sign in and sign up with pass keys, social providers, email, etc. I'm going to use a Next.js application to show it off. So I've created a Next.js application here, and we just need to install their components package, which allows you to essentially display to your users. So you can do that with npm install team Hanko Hanko elements, and that will give you the access to the elements. Now this is with app router, so it is with the latest and greatest. So the first thing we need to do is create a .env file, and that's just gonna hold one element here for our application. And that's going to be the next public Hanko API URL, which you can find in your dashboard when you've signed up for an account. And we'll drop that in here, hit save. So now we have our API URL. Then we need to create our components folder. So we can do that by just creating the components here. And inside of that components is where we're actually going to hold the Hanko's elements so that the user can log in and use our application. So let's create a new file here. We'll call it hanko auth.tsx. So this is going to be a client component, not a server component. So we need to put use client at the top. And then inside of here, we need to import use effect. And we also need to import register from the hanko element. So we can do import register from the hanko elements, which we previously installed. So now that we've imported the two pieces that we need to make this project work, we now also need to import our API key so that we can use that. So we can just do Hanko API equals and then process.env.next public Hanko API URL. And this we can use anywhere in our application. So now we can actually just export this out. So We'll just do export default function, Hanko auth. We're not gonna take any arguments in, and then we can use use effect that we imported at the top, essentially just to load this Hanko API into and register it for the element so that we can use them later on. So we can just do register and then pass in the API here, spell it correctly. And then we can do a catch here just in case. We can throw in an error. And then for the error itself right now, we don't really have anything to do. So we can just do console log error. But for you, uh, depending on what you're doing at home, you know, you could change that to whatever you need it to. And then finally for the use effect, we just want it to run once. So we'll just use that. Now we've got this, all we need to do is return Hanko dash auth. And then this will allow us to use this wherever we want. So now we need a login page or something similar. So let's just make a new folder here. We'll call it login. And inside of that, we'll create a page. And inside of that page will be our login page here. So now we can just import Hanko auth, and that'll come from our components folder here. So it will just be um, dot dot slash components slash uh, Hanko auth or whatever we called this, which is Hanko auth. So now we have the ability to use this wherever we want. So now this essentially becomes just a login page. So we can just do export default function login page, and then just return our Hanko auth. So Hanko auth and hit save. And now we have a login page that we can actually use. We can go and look and see what this looks like. So let's go save this and launch our application first. As you can see here, we do have a login page. We need to fix this because obviously this layout is from the root layout, but we can fix that. But as you can see here, we now have a sign in a sign up page that we can then use. And as you can see, there was no setup there for you to enable pass keys. It just works out of the box. Okay, so from here, we're gonna create a quick layout TSX here. And inside of that, we're gonna call it auth layout. We're gonna pass in our properties as children here, just so that we can do something with it. And what we want to do is return. And then inside of this return, we're just gonna use div here. And because we're using our favorite tailwind here, we can just do a grid, grid calls one, 
we'll do the height of the screen, place the items in the center, and then finally we'll do background of white. And then inside of that div, we'll also have a div, for the class name equal to container. And then this container will just have props dot children passed in children. And then we'll also just update our page here. So instead of just returning this, we'll also add a div. Um, and we're just going to throw a class name in here. And this is just the center it. So this is not really important, but it's just easier for me to show it off. Uh, obviously, there'll be a link to the GitHub in the description. Okay, so now this is actually how it's supposed to look. You can see we have a sign in and a sign in with pass key and a continue button here. This will allow you to sign in and sign up with an email code. So let's go back to our code here. And now we have that all organized. We can start working on the next piece, which is of course to add callbacks to allow us to do certain things. We're going to add some more stuff to this to allow us to essentially redirect the user after they've successfully signed in. So if we're going to do a use callback here and we'll also use use state. And we'll also add in something from Hanko, which is the register and the Hanko itself. So there's register and Hanko here. And then the last piece that we need is um, use navigation. So uh, use router from next navigation to be exact. So we can do use router from next slash navigation. We're going to use all of these to essentially track the user and allow us to redirect them correctly if they need to be. So first of all, we need to do const router equals use router, which you've probably seen a thousand times at this point. And then we also need to do const and then do hanko set hanko equal to use state. So now we have this and we need to set the use state basically to the, the Hanko that we just imported here. So we can just do Hanko. And then after that, we need another use effect here at the top. So we're gonna do use effect is going to essentially just import at team Hanko slash Hanko elements. And then do a then. And inside of here, we can do Hanko. And then we can finally set Hanko to new Hanko and the Hanko API that we had originally. So what this allows us to do is essentially access Hanko, which allows us to then look and see if the user has been redirected or if the user's logged in, etc. So now we can actually do the next piece, which is just redirect after login. And that's going to use the use callback that we have. And all we're going to do here is do router dot replace and we'll do slash uh, user page. And we'll create that user page in a second. And then for the callback, all we need is a comma here and then we'll put router. Okay, so now we have that for our callback. And then the only other one that we really need is if we're going to do OAuth flows now, I'm not going to do OAuth flows in this example, but I'll show you how it works. Essentially, all you do is do another use effect. And this use effect just looks to see if you have uh, an OAuth flow complete. So the way to do that is to do use effect. And then inside of that, we can do Hanko dot on OAuth flow completed. And then redirect after login. So essentially this. And then to check this, the only thing we need is Hanko in here. And the other part is redirect after login. Okay, so now we have that part. The, the last use effect can stay and that should be everything for us to be able to continue on. And then one more thing we need to make sure is that this is actually uh, there. So we'll just put a question mark. Now we should be ready to use this. So let's go ahead and open up our local host and check it out. So let's try and sign up with our email. So I'm just going to put james at jamesperkins.dev and hit continue. It's going to ask me, uh, do you want to sign up? So I'm going to click sign up here. It's going to send us a passcode. So I'm going to enter that passcode. 
And you can see the flow is quite smooth. And so we've got our code here. So it's 280403. And then it's actually going to ask you if you want to save it as a pass key. Now, if you've never used pass key before, you can click save as a pass key. And we can just say save here. And we'll uh, use our phone here. And you can just ignore all the one password that says it's encountered an error. And all you do is you scan your the barcode with your iPhone, for example, just as I am now, and click save as pass key. And it's going to attempt to connect to our device here. And it's going to say, do you want to save this? And click continue. And I'm going to log in to my application here. And unfortunately, you can't see this, but essentially it's just doing a few steps on our phone. And once that's all done, we should be saved as a pass key. And once that's complete, as you can see right now, we get a 404 because we don't have a user page, but let's create a user page and add a user profile so that user can actually interact with their own profile. So back in our code here, let's create another route and we'll call it user page. Inside of that, we'll create a page.tsx. We'll go here, we'll also just grab this entire page and we'll change it, but we'll grab this entire page, we'll delete this out for now, we'll leave this blank, and we'll call this user page, hit save, and then we'll also just grab this layout too, so it's all in the center. And I could have just put this at a level above, but that's fine, and we'll just give it a layout dot tsx here, and we'll call this user layout, and that'll make me happy. Okay, so we need to create a new component here. We'll call this Hanko profile.tsx. And then of course we need a use client again. And then we need a use effect again. And we're also gonna get the, the register that was here is also gonna be imported. So we can just grab that from our old file, drop it in here, delete this out. And then we also need the API, so we can grab this piece just to speed it up. And then once we have all of this, then we can just create our, our um, component here. We'll call this one Hanko Profile. And we're not gonna take any arguments in. And just like we did before, we're going to do the same register. So we can actually just copy and paste this before. So if we go back to our auth here, we grab this register one, we can take this, drop it in here. And then finally, we just need to return something. So we'll return hanko.profile and hit save. And now if we go to our user page here and we import this in, so if we just get this, hang, we need to spell right because that's Hank's profile, not Hanko profile. And we can import this at the top. So we can import Hanko profile and we'll just do dot dot slash component slash Hanko profile and hit save and then take this Hanko profile and use it right here. Hit save. And then if we navigate back to our page, you'll see that we have this right now. And as you can see, I skipped the pass keys because it wasn't working on my machine properly, but you can just add them. So you can just hit save a pass key. And then I imagine this should just, if it would stop freaking out for a second, we can actually use this device, click continue. I can hit my biometrics there. And as you can see, the passkey has been added here. We can just ignore this now and we have it. We can actually delete this. We can rename it. So we have some sort of profile. So we're almost complete here with Hanko. There's one more thing that we really need. One of my favorite things to do is to have middleware do authentication. So let's do that. So inside of your app, if you've never done middleware, it goes in the root of your directory. If you're using source, that would be the source. Uh, directory otherwise it goes in the root here we need to import next request and next response and that's from next server we also need to install something in our packages so we'll just use warp here pull out a tab drag this across and we're just going to do npm install all right and we're done so now we have say we can do import jwt verify and create 
remote GW, GWK set from Bay. And then we need that uh, the same URL that we've used a million times, this one. So we drop that in there because we're going to use that. And then it's just a standard um, middleware function here. And then all we need to do is actually look for the cookie that Hanko has. So it's request cookies dot get Hanko. And then if there's an actual value, so we can just do question mark dot value. And then we can get the JWKs. So we can get that is equal to create remote set. And it's going to be a new URL. And we're going to set that to uh, dollar sign this and then just the URL. So it goes slash dot well known slash jwks.json. And now we have this and Hanko2. We can do a try here. We just do a try catch. And inside of our try, all we want to do is verify. So it's just verified JWT equals await. JWT verify Hanko. And then you just need the JWKs. This will allow us to essentially protect that user page here. And then if there's an error, instead of catching the error, although we could just, you know, console log error. For now, what we really want to do is do return next response dot redirect. And then we can just redirect them back to the login page here. So we can just do new URL login slash login comma request URL. And then all we need to do then is actually run this matcher on specific pages. So in this example, we'll just run it against um, our user profile. So we'll do a user page, right? user dash page. And then that will only run against our user page. So in theory, if we refresh this page, we should stay logged in. But if I go to a new incognito window and grab this page like this and go to new incognito window, paste it in, you can see we get immediately redirected back to the login page where we need to sign in to our account. So if you made it all the way to the end of the video, I hope you really enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you watch this video over here. It's algorithm driven. I don't choose it. And of course, if you're not subscribed, click right here.